So what are you gonna show me right now? How to pitch and hit. Yep. Release once you step. Yes! Oh, I hit the batter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Missed the ball. Okay. Oh, you're a good coach! I feel like if you can play baseball, softball should be like a yeah. race for you. <laughs> yes. I'm definitely nervous because um, I don't know, I'm really like a homebody. I like being at home with my parents, but I think it's gonna be good for me to like get out and meet new people. Hey everyone, it's time for another episode of Shifting Gears. I'm your host, Janae Brown, and we are on our way to pick up another athlete. So this week we have Grace Jones. She is an amazing softball player from Episcopal School of Jacksonville. And we are definitely picking her up in style, courtesy of Tom Bush Automotives. We have a beautiful BMW. Y'all, this BMW is so nice. It has like the white cream seats. So cute. Um, but yes, yeah, so we are picking up Grace in our nice BMW. Um, I'm on the way to pick her up now. In fact, I'm actually inside of her neighborhood and I think I see her. So let's go get her. Hi. Hey, it's so nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you too. So thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. For the people that don't know who you are, explain who you are. Um, I'm Grace and I play softball at Episcopal and Feb I think I was February's athlete of the month. Mm -hmm. Yes, I was. And yeah. So where are you from? I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. Really, born and raised? Yes. Hey, what is your first memory of playing softball? My first memory playing softball? Um, it was definitely, um, well, I started actually playing baseball first. Okay. Yeah, I started playing baseball. So my first memory of softball was like um, the first time that we had like the pitcher, the like little girls pitch. Mm -hmm. And I remember getting hit my first at bat ever playing. <laughs> and it was a little traumatizing, but <laughs> we got through it. So you said you started playing baseball first. Yes. What made you do? What made you do baseball first? Um, I like my all my little friends. They were all boys, and I just wanted to stay around them. So I was, okay. my, they wanted to put me in the softball. I was like, no, I want to play baseball with all the boys. So yeah. I feel like if you could play baseball, softball should be like a yeah. race for you. <laughs> yes. So how do you balance school and sports? Um, it's just a lot of like just having a schedule. Mm -hmm. That's my biggest thing is just like knowing when I have to do stuff. So just if I have softball, I know I have to get something done before. Mm -hmm. And it's just a lot of time management. So what would someone be surprised to know about you? I think that I like actually like to read. I don't know. Oh, okay. Like I don't do it a lot, but when I do like I actually, like when I sit down and read a book, like I can read like for okay. hours. Yeah. So what do you love the most about softball? Oh, I love how competitive it is. Okay. And I love that it's a team sport. Like mm -hmm. it's never like one person like shining all the time. Like everyone's building each other up and I just love the like atmosphere. Okay. So what do you not really like about softball? If there is anything. In softball, it's you fail way more than you succeed. So okay. it's just the mental aspect of it is very hard. Just mm -hmm. you have to, when you do bad, you just have to like flush it and then be able to like do the next play. But that's life, right? Yeah. I mean, softball, I guess, is a really good way to, I don't know, get with life in general, I guess. So you are committed to Mercer. Yes. How did that come about? So, well, the recruiting like thing for me, so for softball, it's like different for some other sports, but you can't like, coaches can't talk to you until like September 1st of your junior I heard year. that, yeah. yes. So like, a bunch of my friends, it was like, the recruiting thing was really hard for me actually, because a lot of my friends, like the first day that coaches could talk to them, like so many coaches, they were all committing like the first day. Mm -hmm. And so it was like super stressful. And I I didn't commit till like around December. Okay. But um, my coach for my travel team, he's like super close with the um, coach there. Okay. And he had her like contact me. And when once I met there and like went up to her, so I just like loved it. It was awesome. So you went to go visit Mercer? Mm -hmm. So I guess it just like felt like home to you? Yes. Okay. So who are your biggest inspirations when it comes to softball or just life in general? I'd definitely say my parents. Okay. Just like 
how much they like sacrifice for me and my brother because my brother plays baseball too and how mm -hmm. much they sacrifice their time and their energy into what we do mm -hmm. it's just it makes like it's so much more enjoyable when i'm like playing for like all they put in the work for me so yeah they are definitely my biggest inspirations the earliest uh, memory of her playing softball was with the uh, santa fe inferno when she was six she was uh she was really good then was, um, she was a quick learner and um, that's the earliest memory. My proudest moment of Grace in sports is she's won two national championships in fast pitch and she pitched in both championship games and won them and that was probably my proudest moments of her. Yeah, it was probably about four years old and um, I realized it then and every morning we would go out in the yard before school and we would play catch, you know, for like 10 or 15 minutes, just me and her. Her whole family is very athletic. Her uh, aunt and her uh, cousins, both her cousin played for FIU. And um, so it's kind of in her blood. It's actually very nerve wracking um, for her and us. You know, you, you're always just anticipating that college, you know, coming, reaching out to you. And um, it was a stressful, you know, time, but now that she's committed, it's a big relief. Just to stay diligent with her schoolwork and, um, and know that there's life after softball and after sports that one day you're going to have to go out and get a job and become a, a real human in society and be a hard worker just like everybody else. Okay, so thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. So we were going to go to your school, Episcopal, mm -hmm. but then your dad showed me this beautiful <laughs> land of like, what do you call it? A softball cage. layer? Cage. Yes. <laughs> a softball cage. Um, so we're going to do everything right here. So what are you going to show me right now? How to pitch and hit. Cool. Let's get started. You start mm -hmm. with your, well, your lefty. Yes. Oh wait, your glove is on the same hand. Okay. You can start like me. Here. Okay. Foot like this and then your other foot straight. Okay. A little bit behind the other, just like that. Okay. Then you're going to put your hand in your glove. Okay. Okay. Then you're going to like rock back like this and your hands are going to go up and your foot's going to come up a little bit. Okay. And then you're going to go backwards this and your glove's going to come down okay. and then you're going to come up like that and then do a circle with your arm. Yeah, just like that. Okay. And then like right here, you would release the ball and you drag your foot. Ooh, okay. Yeah, it's a lot, a lot of it's details. A lot. a lot of details. Okay, okay. It looks like this. Just like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> really fast. Okay. Comes up, down, step, release once you step. Yes. Oh, I hit the batter. Okay. <laughs> the batter. Okay, okay. okay we got it. All right. Okay, so next stop, you're gonna show me how to hit. Yes. Now, not to brag, okay, <laughs> but I played softball in elementary school and I brought my helmet just for you. Yes. <laughs> so don't laugh, okay. But this is my helmet, okay, it says wild child. Don't ask why. So I'm going to wear this while you show me how to bat. Let's go. All right, let's go. We figured out we're both lefties. Mm -hmm. so we can start on the same side. Okay. You don't want to stand over there just so it's like that. Okay. Okay. So basically, you're going to put your right hand on the bottom. Okay. And then your left hand just above it. Okay. And you're going to stand a little bit further than shoulder width apart. Okay. And then you're going to like bend down a little bit and you're going to load and step. Okay. And then you're just going to swing and hit the ball. So what is loading? Loading is just like getting into this back leg. Okay. Like that. Okay. That much. Right, load, and just hit it? Yes. That was good. Okay, okay. All right, next ball. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Hunger. Oh, that was good. Okay. Missed the ball. Missed the ball, okay. Oh, you're a good coach. So thank you so much you're for pitching and showing me your cage today. <laughs> Are you ready to go eat? Yes. All right, let's go. Hey, so we got our pizza. Yes. So you're in season right now, right? Yes, I am. So how is the season going? It's going really well. I think we're like, we've only lost three games. I think we're like 19 and three. Mm -hmm. So we're doing really well. You're a junior, okay, so you have one more year yes. of all the chaos. <laughs> okay, so what is like the best moment of the season so far? It's a good question, because we've had a lot. I think when we played Ponte Vedra this year, we mm -hmm. were down and um, we really came together as a team and we won the game by one run, I think five to four. Okay. Yes. 
So you're going to Mercer. Yes. Do you want to do anything when you get there, like sorority, clubs, anything like that? Um, I would, but I don't know if I'll have like enough time to like be doing all yeah. that kind of stuff. But yeah, I, I think maybe I could see if I could. So are you nervous or excited about going so far away from I'm definitely parents? nervous because, um, I don't know, I'm really like a homebody. I like being at home with my parents, but I think it's gonna be good for me to like get out and meet new people and yeah. At your house, you have a cage that you and your family built. Yes. It's something that I've never seen before. <laughs> so can you please explain how you built it and the inner workings of it? Basically when we bought the house, we had, um, there was already like a pole barn, like basically like the section where we actually hit. And then my dad um, had people come out and poured concrete, which took a little bit to like get them out there. And then he poured an extra section of concrete to like add on to the pitching part, mm -hmm. which is really cool. And then it didn't take too long, it took like maybe like two to three weeks to like actually set up the um, like cage nets and put everything in it. Seems like your parents are very um, influential in your softball career. Yes. Um, so how much do they mean to you and what have they done to help you throughout your lifetime? They mean the absolute most to me. Um, they've, like my mom, we go to pitching lessons every week in Orlando, like, which is two and a half hours every week. But she takes me down there so I can go to my pitching coach. My dad, um, he does hitting with me. And he, even after he works, I don't know how he does it, and he puts up with me. But we go out and hit every day. And he's actually one of the high school coaches, too, so. Oh, really? Yes. At your school? Yes. What? Yeah, he was like, <laughs> Showing me everything <laughs> works like yes. the coach did. Okay, well, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. Are you done eating? Yes. All right, let's go. <laughs>